welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you're struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. If you are new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you find this video to be helpful, please consider hitting the like button and share with also your colleagues. Let us look at question 8. An arithmetic progression is given as 1, 7, 13 then up to infinity. Find the question A the eighth term, question B the sum of the first 15 terms. Again this is one of the questions that always comes. So in any paper one will be asked to find the given term and the sum of a given n terms. Depending on the number, they can ask you 10, they can ask you 16, they can ask you to 17. So again, you just need to prepare yourself, you see, nothing new. So, how do we find the given term? So the formula is given by, which you should know, A, which is the first term, plus n minus 1 in brackets then times d where d is the common difference so how do you find these values so what is a from what we've been given a is 1 a is the first term then what are we looking for so this is question a we are looking for the eighth term so n is equal to 8 then we need to find d the common difference. So D is the common difference between this one. So it, it is given by the second term minus the first term which should be the same as the third term minus the second term because this difference need to be constant. If it's not constant then it's not an arithmetic progression then it's a geometric progression which is either increasing by a given ratio or reducing by a given ratio. So in this case, what's in the second term? The second term is a 7. So 7 minus 1, we are getting a 6. Then if you look at the third term, it's 13 minus 7, which is again 6. So this is the same. So indeed, 6 is the common term. So once I have the common difference, not the common term, the common difference, excuse me. So what is going to happen is this. So we are going to have this standard formula. So let me just write it here. So the first term is a 1, so it will be 1, then plus we are going to have n minus 1 times d. What's the common difference? Is 6. So multiply by 6. Then I can expand this one. So I'm going to have 1 plus 6 times n to be 6n. Then 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Then once I have this one, I can collect the right term. So it will be 6n minus uh, 1 plus negative 6 is a 5. So once I have this one, it's just a matter of substituting. So I can find any term. Whether they tell me to find the 10th term, the 20th term, just a matter of substituting. So in this case, our n is 8. So since our n is 8, then you can say now 6 multiplied by 8 minus 5. That's what we're going to get. So if you multiply 6 times 8, this should give us 48. So 48 minus 5, this is 43. So the answer in this case is 43. So here is 43. Once you do that, you get that one mark. So I want you to understand, not to memorize. So I might need to take more time to give you the background so that you understand. Remember, 
you can get answers anywhere. What is important is understand the principle. If you understand the principle, then mathematics becomes easier. So we know the common difference now. We know the first term. Then find the sum of the first 15 terms. Again, let me just move to a new clean page. So we are looking for the sum. So the sum of the first n terms is given by n divided by 2. Then you multiply by the first term you multiply by 2, which is 2m. Then plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Now we've already found this. So we are summing the first in 15 terms. So just a matter of substituting. So it will be 15 divided by 2. Then after we divide by 2, this 15, then multiply by 2 times 1, because the first term is that one, like we said, either then plus. This is now 15 minus 1. Okay, so 15 minus 1, then times the common difference, which is 6. So we're going to have uh, 15 over 2, then multiply by 2 times 1 is a 2, then plus 15 minus 1 is 14, then 14 times, times 6. Okay, so here what is critical now is your multiplication skills, that's what is critical. So we're going to have now 14 multiplied by 6. So 6 times 4 is 24. So we write 4, we carry 2, then 2 times uh, 1 is 6 plus 2, 8. So we have 84. So 84, just want to move here so 84 plus 2 we are going to have 86 so it will be now 15 over 2 multiplied by 84 okay so this all things is 84 or 86 this is now 86 not 84 because we've added a 2 sorry so this is 86 so now what we do is this 2 we divide into 86 we are going to end up with 15 multiplied by 43 so it will be 15 multiplied by 43 because it will be 2 into 2 to be 1 2 into 8 is a 4 2 into 6 is that so now we are going to have now the next Remember, in an exam, this is in the examiner's in space. But in, because I don't have space, I'm going to use it. But you can light it on top somewhere here. But because I'm explaining, I can use that one. I just want to emphasize so that you don't make the same mistake. So it's going to be 15 multiplied by 43. So it will be 3 times 5 is 15. We call it 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, then 4 times 5 is a 20, we call it 2, then 4 times 1 is uh, a 4 plus 2 is 6, then we add this, so it will be 5, 4, 6, so we're going to end up with 6, 45, so 6, 45 is the answer that you need to put here, 6, 645. Once you do that, then you get the two marks. So this is how you answer this question to get the three marks.